Good morning, everyone. It's Terry, and welcome to my channel. This is another edition of my life today. And I wanted to share with you something I pulled out of the greenhouse, something that I had for a couple of years. And this is the yellow version of the Maxillaria tenifolia, often called the coconut orchid, which it does have that coconut scent, almost like a, a roasted or a... Um, but when you, you know, um, when it's cooked, um, it has a different sort of, a s'more, it's a different coconut um, taste or flavor or fragrance, I should say. Blah, blah, blah. Haven't had enough coffee this morning, but nonetheless, it is amazingly fragrant. Almost just as fragrant or more fragrant than the regular Tenifolia, in my opinion, because the fragrance seems to waft more. Now, this is the Yamada clone. Um, this is the typical Maxillaria um, climbing habit with the flattened egg-shaped pseudobulbs with the grassy tufts coming out of the top. So it is very pleasant to look at even when it's not in bloom. Um, they do like lots of water year-round, although they like a little less for a sh brief period in the, um, after the growth season is completed, after they complete their growth. And at that time, I, they like a little bit of a cold uh, snap as well, a little bit cooler temperatures. But during the year, for the most part, they take a wide temperature range from 50 degrees and high about 85 and as the temperatures go up, the watering should also go up. When the temperatures go down um, into the 50s, and the, you know that's when the temperature also, I mean the watering should go down. Um, they love bright light, um, but not the, the bright light during the middle part of the day, which is when it is the hottest. Um, let's see. They do like to be repotted when they've, come out of the pot so far because they do get little aerial roots when they are in growth um, and those roots would prefer to be in some soil unless you have a very buoyant or humid atmosphere you might want to repot it in a larger pot um, and just sink it in it will be fine they will continue to push forward up out as you can see there does not matter they will push out um, but yeah, that does pose a problem for many people. Now, if you have a greenhouse or if you have a humid, buoyant environment, then it won't matter. You can just let the plant cascade and become a big ball. Um, and it will resemble like Nina's cousin it. But besides the color, the fragrance is amazing on this. And I wanted to share it with you. It's going to be a really nice blooming. I have buds coming out all over. And look at the bloom. Look at that. Those red speckles on the lip. Very nice contrast. Well, it's more of a pink, peachy, pastel-y. Anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Enjoy your orchids.